Hero Cat Saves Baby from Babysitter There are plenty of dog stories out there, with faithful dogs saving their owners, but we bet cats can also be heroes. Take for instance this awesome tuxedo cat that came to her best friend's aid when the babysitter was acting strange. While man's best friend is the dog, we can all agree the cat is that spoiled friend that will only love you when they want to. Well, cats do have a very strong personality, but they still love us very much. This cute cat grew up with her favorite human, and nobody was allowed to harm him. You may be a dog person, but you'll surely love this cat that has revealed the true side of the woman that was supposed to take good care of a little boy. Ever since they discovered the terrible things the babysitter did, the family hailed their precious feline for being a hero. How were they able to see what the nanny did while they were away? Having a baby is exciting and as all parents, a time when you cannot stop from worrying about your child's safety. But how does a spoiled cat that was your first baby react to when you introduce it to the new family member? But as long as you supervise the baby when the cat is around, you shouldn't be worried. As all curious cats, they may surely want to check up on the situation while you are not around. However, Carrie and Dennis had no worries when it came to Zara the family cat. When cats bond with a human, it's a friendship that will forever last. So when Carrie and Dennis saw how much care their cat had when she was around the baby, they realized these two would have an incredible bond. Zara was absolutely in love with Ollie. Whenever Carrie took him out of the crib, Zara would follow her and meow to let her sniff him. Months passed and Zara could finally hang out with Ollie. Carrie and Dennis had been a happy family ever since they learned about their pregnancy. When baby Ollie was born, they were stunned to see the family cat Zara was so infatuated with the newborn. Ever since the cat saw Ollie, she would meow at him and snuggle for a nap. They've been friends for more than half a year. Wherever the baby was, Zara would follow. In the first months after giving birth to Ollie, Carrie spent time with her adorable baby and with nanny and chief Zara. She was so amused the cat was obsessed with him. Carrie even saw Zara on camera one day when she entered Ollie's room during his afternoon nap. Little did she know that months later, it would be Zara who would save her baby boy. Although Carrie and Dennis were parents for the first time, they managed to meet all the needs of their newborn. As months passed, it was time for Carrie to go back to work. Ollie was almost nine months old, and Carrie decided it was time to either look for a good nearby nursery or hire a nanny. After spending nine months at home with little Ollie, Carrie decided to ask the help of a nanny so she could go back to work. But who would be fit to take care of her precious boy? Carrie didn't trust a random woman would be the best idea to bring in the house. This is why she turned to her family friend, Alyssa. At only 21 years old, Alyssa could use the extra money from babysitting, thought Carrie. Plus, she was their friend and knew Ollie was safe with her. But things were not exactly as Carrie had imagined. You see, Ollie's behavior seemed to be different after a few weeks. Alyssa was going to need the extra money and Carrie needed someone to keep an eye on her baby while she and Dennis were at work. Basically, they helped each other and it was a great solution for both parties. Or so Carrie thought. Alyssa had visited the parents before Ollie was born and Zara always came to snuggle. But ever since she became the nanny, something changed. The cat seemed to hate Alyssa, hissing at the nanny when she came close to the baby. At first, Carrie thought nothing of it. Alyssa's excuse was that maybe the cat smelled dog hair on her pants and it made her aggressive. But one day, little Ollie had a cut on his lip. The nanny said he must have cut himself with a toy in the crib. Days passed and Ollie acted strangely. Ollie seemed to flinch when Carrie yelled at Dennis who was in another room. Then, as she reached out towards him to calm him down, he flinched again. Something didn't add up. It looked as if Ollie had experienced something different in the past week while Alyssa was babysitting him. Carrie thought she was paranoid. But what if she wasn't? Finding a good babysitter can be difficult for a lot of parents, and even though you think you made the right choice, you're still anxious. Carrie didn't feel that way since she trusted Alyssa. But what if she was wrong? What if her baby wasn't safe with this woman she called her friend? She talked to Dennis and they decided to check on Alyssa to see if Carrie was just imagining things. There are plenty of stories online with awful babysitters and kids that wail when they hear they're left alone with the nanny. Some clueless parents thought it was just separation anxiety. But sometimes, it's a lot more than that. When a child's behavior starts changing, it's a warning sign that parents shouldn't ignore. So Carrie and Dennis decided to find out what was happening while they were away at work. 
they didn't expect to find out the truth about Alyssa. Thinking too many strange things started happening after Alyssa became Ollie's babysitter, Carrie and Dennis decided to place a small recording device on Zara's collar. Zara was always around Ollie, even checking in on him during the night. She would help them put an end to the mystery about their son's different behavior. In one recording, Carrie and Dennis laughed when they heard Zara meow at Ollie and he tried meowing back. But minutes later, they could hear Alyssa's voice. Out of the blue, Ollie starts crying and then they heard Alyssa. She was not really helping Ollie stay quiet. On the contrary, she started yelling. Carrie and Dennis were stunned to hear baby Ollie crying and Alyssa yelling at him, shut up, shut the, up. Shut up. She kept yelling at him and said, you gotta get over it. Then she cussed at the cat as well. Zara was there too, they heard her hissing at the nanny. The parents rushed at home but found Alyssa being nice to Ollie. Things looked fine and the recording was not proof enough to file a police report. With pain in their hearts, they knew they had to leave little Ollie with the abusive nanny a few more minutes the next morning. They planted a couple of nanny cams and waited. Before recording Alyssa, the parents thought of filing a police report after they found blood on Ollie's pajamas and his lip was cut. And they did. Prosecutors didn't file charges that time since the case had not enough proof. Now with the recording and the nanny cam, Alyssa would go down. The couple planted a camera in Ollie's room and in the living room, knowing that Alyssa was mostly keeping the baby in the living room, where all the toys were. They said goodbye to little Ollie, counting on Zara to keep the nasty nanny in check. But things were far worse than they imagined. It all started 15 minutes after they left her alone with the baby. When they saw the live footage, Carrie and Dennis called the police and ran back home. They were horrified when they saw Alyssa losing her mind. When I watched the video, she was screaming at him, telling him to shut up, sitting on top of him, recalled the mother in an interview with the media. Carrie thought that Alyssa was a good and reliable friend, but never imagined she could yell at a 10-month-old baby. Moreover, she leaned on top of him and yelled in his face. Carrie said that when she looked at the video, she felt instant anger and disgust and rage, honestly. They rushed home. The parents rushed home that morning to confront Alyssa, said Carrie, I turned my car around immediately and came home. They were stunned to see how terrible the young woman really was. She said, is something going on with him? And I said, I don't know, you tell me what's going on here. She became defensive, recalled the mother, shaking during the interview. The young nanny was immediately charged with child endangering and got arrested by the police officers that arrived at the house a few minutes after the confrontation. Two months later, Alyssa faced the court. She would soon learn the consequences to her actions. Alyssa was going to jail unless she agreed to undergo counseling and anger management. She also had to quit babysitting. Meanwhile, Carrie and Dennis feared to let strangers take care of their boy. It seems Zara had been the best babysitter they could ever wish for. The happy ending to this story would be that Alyssa won't be near anyone's baby anymore and she gets counseling for her devious behavior towards an innocent baby. As for Ollie, thankfully, he doesn't remember a thing. Zara is there for him, meowing all day and purring a storm next to her favorite person. Just like she did from the very first day she laid her eyes on him. We can all agree Zara is quite a hero. She has figured out the abusive nanny wasn't meant to stay near the baby and tried her best to warn Carrie and Dennis. In the end, they realized the cat was Ollie's furry hero. They trust Zara has been his faithful guardian ever since she first saw him. Cats can be just like dogs when it comes to protecting their beloved humans. They are very possessive as well, and Zara maybe thought Ollie was her own baby. Whatever Zara did, it helped Carrie and Dennis find out what was happening to their little boy. Now, little Ollie is a strong little boy, ready for all the adventures that may be coming his way. Carrie and Dennis couldn't be happier around their boy, who is a sweet toddler.